Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Vicky's World. I'm Vicky and this is a weight loss update. So first of all, I'm so sorry. It has taken so, so long to um, get this uploaded for you. Um, I'm just all over the place at the moment with lockdown and I've had a pretty bad flare up and my mental health and one thing and another. Um, but I am writing lists now so that I can get more organised because, you know, I love this channel and I love you guys and I just need to be more organised. So, as I said, this is a um, weight loss update for weeks 81 to 80. <laughs> I checked on my videos um, back in when I done the last one. So I have my book, I'm all ready. So I just talk through, um, where have I written it? I've written it somewhere. Um, so a look. So the 7th of April, that was week 80. So, right, that was the um, 6th of April was week 80. So 81, 82, 83, 84, yeah. So we're all good. So the following week after that was the 13th of April. Um, so I'm just going to read through them and then I'll talk about, um, you know, what I've done differently and things. I'm really not in the middle on this camera. I'm still getting used to, um, still getting used to my new camera. And Tyrion, I don't know what he's doing today. Come on, out of there. Wouldn't be complete if he wasn't um, getting in the way. So... The week after that was the 13th of April, that was week 81 um, of my current journey and obviously my last journey is ever going to be up because I'm never restarting and this is it. So um, that week it was star week and I gained two pounds so that took me to four stone 13 pounds lost. Then the week after the 20th of April and week 82 I stayed the same. Week after that was the 28th of April, week 83, and I gained two and a half pounds. Um, again, like I said, I'll talk through um, the results. One second. I'm so sorry, but Tivian, you know what he's like. So it was I. Um, yes, yeah, so the 28th of April, I gained two and a half pounds, and the following week, the 5th of May, I lost three pounds, that took me back to four stone 13 and a half pounds and this week i stayed the same um so today is the 14th of may um it's thursday and i weighed in on tuesday and I, like i said i stayed the same so i over the last i don't know from the last time i spoke to you so the 13th of april that was my next weigh in um it was the plus two, then stayed the same, and then plus two and a half. So what I sort of, at that point, I was getting really, really frustrated with myself. I was feeling really down, um, along with pain, which has been sort of off the scale the last week. Um, and my mental health being ridiculous. Um not just my anxiety over this whole you know situation with this virus but um there he is he's got a chair over there now so hopefully he'll settle down um just you know with this virus and my depression because when my pain ramps up so does my depression and i just hit rock bottom um and i don't want to get out of bed and i just don't want just don't want to be here and I know that sounds you know it's not really you know I, I don't like to talk about stuff like that but I think sometimes you need to um I'm okay now though I'm still not in a great place but I am okay I'm not feeling that way um now so um let's have a look where are we so as of the 28th of April, when I gained that, um, I don't know if you can see him, yeah, you can see him there. 
that two and a half pounds I sort of that that sort of was um enough was enough for me and I thought right I'm gonna do something to try and change things up you know I've been doing Slimming World on and off now for like 13 years um it'll be 13 years in August I think um on and off and that's how long I've known my consultant so I've grown to love her as a friend now as well so I thought right I need to do something because my sleep is all over the place um my you know my eating was all over the place you know I was still on plan but I wasn't sort of having set times to eat um and some days I was just having one big meal you've probably seen that from my um my food diaries that I post on here um which really really helped me um but you know having one big meal and then sort of smaller things through the day and you know still having my sins um which clearly wasn't working so that day that I weighed on the 28th of April I was just like you know enough is enough I'm gonna do something to sort this out so after our sort of virtual class I sat down with my notebook and I just sort of come up with an idea in my head so I sort of centered around routine for me um, and even though you know I've had a pretty good routine um, you know since lockdown and all of that not since lockdown way before that as well so what I did was I sat down and I said look you know to myself you know I talked to myself having this conversation um, you know I need to do something about my sleep sort of bedtimes and sort of waking up times and I need to sort of do something about my eating Rianne, no. He's trying to chew the cushion now. Oh, the choice. Um, but yes, yeah, so I had a little chat with myself and what I have come up with and I have been following since that day. So it would have been the 29th. Let me just check. Stop it, please. He's so cheeky. So it would have been the 29th of April. Yeah, 29th of April um i come up with this routine so what i've been doing since then is my sleep and sort of my daytime routine is i'll set and i've so on my iphone i've got this like bedtime thing so i've set it for 10 o'clock and 10 o'clock so um bed like settle down ready to go to sleep by 10 and then no matter what, my alarm is set for 10 in the morning for me to get up. Um, excuse me. I know it, you know, it's not early, I guess, but it's early for me when I was getting up gone 12, you know, sometimes. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And every single day, that's what I've been sticking to. Um, and, you know, it's been working really well. There have been a couple of nights where um, my insomnia has been <laughs> really bad and um, also pain insomnia. I don't know if anyone has heard of that, but um, anyone sort of spoonies and chronic illness people will know what I mean. Um, you know, pain insomnia is basically where it's like insomnia, but you're in, you've got insomnia because of your pain because it's so bad that you just can't sleep no matter what um i had i think the, i had one really really bad night with that and i dropped off at like six in the morning i was up all night um just watching i'd be, just be binge watching Grey's anatomy rather than just lying there getting upset with myself i'm getting frustrated that i can't sleep it takes my mind off things and I still got up at 10, which was a struggle, but then I had a nap in the day and that's what I'm sort of allowing myself to do. So I've had a couple of other nights where I haven't been able to get to sleep until sort of like 12 or one, but I'm still getting up at that time. And I think that's sort of helping. Um, I know, you know, I was under no illusions that it was gonna, you know, fix me straight away, um, but, it's been a good thing 
So that routine has been in place since the 29th of April. So just over two weeks and I'm finding it okay. Um, Monday, um, Sunday was really bad and I did do a food diary which I've just put up. But Monday was probably the worst day I've had in, gosh, maybe a month, two months. Um, you know, I didn't, I literally didn't want to get out of bed. The pain was so bad. I woke up at 10 and I just laid in bed, um, you know, just laying there, trying to sort of psych myself up to getting up. And obviously then um, my husband got Tyrion out of, um, out of his bed. So he came in and laid with me and, you know, I just tried to really try to get up. And I think I ended up getting up about I don't know about half 11 something like that 12 um but I was awake and and that day then you know I always have like a slight anxiety the day before weighing anyway um which I know is silly but I've had it for as long as I can remember um so I think that on top of how I was feeling um you know I was on plan I did stick to plan but I didn't eat a lot I just make sure when I'm like that, I always have my healthy extra A, at least one, my B choice and a few sins. I do try to have some speed, but you know, as long as I've had something so I can take my meds, then I'm fine with that. So that's the routine part of it. And the other thing that I've been doing is making sure that I've got sort of, not set times for food, but sort of like, more structured then so instead of just having food willy-nilly um you know when I get up at 10 you know some days I don't get up till like half 10 um I'll be awake maybe I'm sort of looking on my phone or I don't know what he's doing um looking on my phone or I'll just lie there and um snuggle with Tyrion for a bit but I'll get up and then I'll have my breakfast or whatever that may be and then I try to have my lunch between sort of two and three. Um, sometimes it's after three. If I have it after three, then I'll just have it a bit later in the night just to compensate. Um, and then my tea then normally between six and seven. Um, but if I have my lunch later, then obviously I'll have my tea sometimes between seven and eight. And that's working really well. And then my snacks then, because as you all know, um, I love to keep my sins till the evening. Um, it's something that I've always done and I just feel like I've got something to look forward to and I'll have that then between nine and 10. So, you know, that's something then to look forward to and I can settle down ready to go to bed. So that's my sort of food routine. And then the other thing that I've been doing is planning what I'm going to eat as well um, because if I don't have something batch cooked, like ready here, then I panic and I think, right, well, you know, I'm not really that hungry, I won't eat. Or, you know, I'll just grab something that is on plan but isn't, wouldn't um, be as satisfying as, you know, a proper meal. So, after my class on a Tuesday, that's what I've been doing. I've been sitting down and planning out what I'm going to eat for the week. And when I say that, you know, I, I, I allow myself to tweak it a little bit. Um, so if, for example, yesterday um, I had overnight grape nuts down as my breakfast, but Tuesday evening I wasn't feeling great. Um, so I just had porridge in the morning but I knew that I had that alternative in my head, um, which worked. And then I had my lunches planned and then tea, I put down steak and chips, but I fancied jacket potato instead. So that's what I had. Um, so writing those things down, making sure that I'm planning what I'm going to make as well. So going through my recipe books, old magazines, um, going on the Slimming World website, which I found has worked really well for me. Um, when I'm looking for batch cooking meals to make. Um, so this week I'm going to do, I'm doing the Piri Piri chicken 
Bake, I think it's called, on the Slimming World website. Um, I'm doing that later. I'm, I've picked, I try to pick really easy things. Um, like the Take 5 book is amazing. Um, or when I look through my books, I look for something that's got, hasn't got too many steps. And um, my husband helps with things like stirring, um, because I've got a big pot that I make them in, with the motion of stirring sets, um, triggers my shoulder off. Um, so he'll help with things like that. So pretty, pretty chicken um, is quite easy as far as I can see. So I'm gonna do that tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm hoping to do the baked tomato risotto, which I haven't done for ages. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh, and a pasta pie, which I saw on Debbie's channel, which is off the Slim and Will website. So having structure and routine has been sort of really, really important for me lately. And it's something now that I'm going to take forward and I am going to implement and keep going with because um, when it sort of gives me something to focus on as well. So I've got YouTube and I've got Instagram and then I've got my routine, my structure, so I know exactly where I am through the day. Um, that's the fault of ang anxiety is because I panic if I don't know what I'm going to be doing. So whereas now, I know like for my lunch today, for example, I've got down a slim meal. So I'll go in the freezer and see what meal I want and I haven't sort of chose a, a specific one I'll just have whatever I fancy and and then for tea tonight like I said the peri peri bake with um perhaps a jack potato or chips or something with it um and then do that every day so it's something that has helped me um you know if that'll help you and you know you want to chat about it please drop me a message um or dm me over on instagram you know try it give it a go uh, you know like i said i've been doing this slimming well a long time you know i know the plan i know what works i know what doesn't work um but it's just something for me just doing those you know small things to me they're huge they're massive but in the scheme of things they're sort of small changes that can make that difference and you know by doing that um you know the following week then i lost three pound which was my gain plus half so whatever i was doing worked and you know that to me was amazing because i needed that because i've been sort of lost three up two stayed the same up two and a half lost three stayed the same so this week i stayed the same but star week appeared that same day so i'm assuming that it's because of that you know my flu can go up and some weeks I'll be fine, I'll stay, you know, I'll stay the same, which is absolutely fine for time of the month for me. Um, but some some months I can gain quite a bit. Um, and I have been lucky enough in the past to lose. So, you know, I'll take that as it is. So going forward for me, sorry, I've rambled a bit. Um, but going forward for me, I am going to keep to my routine. I am going to um, make sure that after my class on Tuesday that I just sit down and take 10, 15 minutes just to write down food, go through my books and you know my recipe books and things through the week ready for the following week and then I can decide what I want to make and have batch cooking and then when my Slimming World meals start to sort of run down a bit I'll do another Excuse me, I'll do another order then with Iceland. So yeah, that is my journey. So I am currently at where are we? Four stone thirteen and a half pounds. So you know I'm not too far off where I was before all this um virus situation came out. Um, you know, I would love to get to my five and a half stone award, but I've sort of got a I've, I've got to sort of accept that, you know, I'm not a well person and I'm trying my best and I'm changing these things around. Um, so to stay around about the same, you know, because if I hadn't gone, you know, if I hadn't carried on my journey with like the virtual Slimming World and things and I thought, oh, well, you know, we're on lockdown 
um, you know, I'm feeling down, my depression is clearing up, my pain's really bad, you know, I'm just gonna eat my feelings, which is what I do, you know, I am a comfort eater. Um, then I could have easily gained back probably half what I've lost and that thought sort of, it terrified me um, because yeah, I just don't want to, that's not a place I want to go back to. So yeah, at the moment, that's where I am. Um, yeah, so that's that. Thank you for watching guys. Um, you know, it really does mean the world to me. You know, I love YouTube and I love you guys. You guys really are, you know, amazing. Um, thank you for all the love and support that you've shown me, you know, caring. It, it just means so, so much. And on that note, um, I do have a giveaway running. So if you've watched this and you haven't seen my giveaway, um, I will try and put like a little, you know, the card things, but I do the sort of editing on my phone. But if I can do it, then I'll link it. Um, but please go over and enter my giveaway. Um, you know, you don't, you know, there's not much you need to do. Just like leave a little comment and be subscribed pretty much. But if you read the terms and conditions, um, and you could be in with a chance of winning a um, Slimming World recipe book. So yeah, it's just my way of saying thank you. It's just something really small and like I said, just a token of my appreciation and love. If I could give something to everybody, you know, I would love to do that, but obviously I can't. Um, so please, please go over and enter that giveaway. Um, share it and get people involved because I think support is so so important and I wouldn't be where I am now without the support of so many people in my life so yeah that's that really so again thank you so much for watching um don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next one bye everyone take care love to you all